Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop Design Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this beauty product poster in Photoshop. Of course, with a few steps. If you're new to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. Without having to waste time, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first thing to do is click on file and click on new or you can click on the create new button and um, what you want to do is over here I'm going to change the size but before I do that or after I do that I'm going to put in name here so um, you don't have to go overboard with this so just put in the name of what you are designing in this case it's beauty poster so um, the width and the height resolution stays at 300 and um, click on create like this right so um, this is our page um, let's get straight into business so um, I'm just going to pull this up so I can see the color codes that I used so for the background this is the color code so I'm just going to copy this and um, come here adjustments click on solid color and I'm just going to paste the code here and click OK this is I'm going to make it my foreground color so it's easy for me to navigate and use what I want to use right um, create a new layer with my brush selected I'm going to use um, um, make it slightly bigger my flow is set to 100 I'm going to use this color it's um, not entirely yellowish but it's kind of yellowish I'm going to set this to screen create a new layer I'm going to apply it again but this time I'm making my brush smaller like this right let me double click so you see um, the color I'm using right so that's the color code I'm just going to apply this once here to make it brighter and I'm going to click on um, I think linear add is fine right in case you missed the first color code I used um, you can just backward it to the notepad or you can just get it here right so um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select the two of them and group them Ctrl G like this and I'm just going to I think I'm going to rename this light just like this okay so um, um, going forward next thing I'm going to do is I have this so directly on top of this um, yeah on top of this um, let me zoom in and zoom out I'm just going to increase the light a bit to cover up some space in the design right so click on a new layer like this I'm going to over to my resource file my resource file is in the description of this video so you, you can follow along and use the same thing too right so I'm just going to select this image here drag and drop and um, place it inside here like this so it's too big so I'm just going to reduce the size um, I'm using my scroll, my um, zoom, uh, scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So I'm just going to place it here like this, right? Um, position this well, make it smaller, and um, I can have it here, right? So um, let me adjust this slightly. So I'm going to come a rough filter just to make it pop and to make it stand out. So inside here, you can follow my settings for this. Increase my dehaze just slightly. Decrease, add to the blacks and um, yeah, to make it punchy like this. So it feels like a premium image. So select your brush like this make sure you turn off the cap locks so it displays like this right so what you want to do is I'm not going to apply the brush this way I'm going to swap colors and I'm going to use this color here for the shadow right that's the color code right before before I apply the shadow click um, what I want to do is 
I need to change the dynamic of the brush, right? So I'm just going to go um, make it smaller, go up here, and I'm just going to move this downwards like this, right? Move it downwards. This is how it up and down, right? So you can see that the brush is now flat. So this is like a base brush. Increase the size just slightly, and um, I'm just going to create this shadow here, right? So I'm going to select this, Ctrl T, and I'm going to tilt it just slightly like this. Take it up. So I create an illusion uh, as though it's trying to fall or something like that. That's the whole point here, right? Great. Okay. So I'm just going to... I'm going to select the two of them, group them. I'm going to name this um, bottle one. I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J, and um, Ctrl. T. I'm just going to um, clean this off, and I'm going to rename it as bottle two. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to press Ctrl T. I'm just going to bring this down but before I do that I'm going to flip horizontal like this okay and I'm just going to bring this down take this behind the bottom one and I'm going to move the bottom one so slightly to this part here like this Take it to this part here like this. Make it slightly bigger like this. Bring it down a little bit like this. Click enter to place them. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and um, create some other things. Okay, so I'm just going to revert to um, select this color. This is what I'm using. Right, and click OK. So I'm just going to make this my foreground color. Um, I'm going to click on this draw an ellipse right make sure it's a perfect ellipse like this and um, a couple of things I want to do to this so I'm just going to create a new layer above it right so I'm going to clip this layer to the shape itself so right click and so let's create create clicking mask like this. So whatever I do is only going to affect the ellipse itself, right? So um, having done this, select the layer. I'm on the layer right now. Go over to your brush. I'm just going to flip this back. No, you don't do this. Select the brush. Um, adjust this and turn it back up like this, All right? So I'm just going to go over and um, my opacity and flow is set to 100, right? I'm just going to flip this color so that the foreground color is exactly this color that we used before, right? So I'm just going to click once, apply it there, and I'm just going to change the direction, right? So I'm just going to move this upwards so it's like, uh, um, it's like a 3D shape right now right so i'm just gonna leave this here like this create a new layer i'm also going to clip this create the mask to the first one like this 
So um, with my brush still selected, I'm going to use the same color, but this time I'm going to put this on this part here, right? So it's like um, a reflection of light. So I'm going to create another one, but this time I'm going to flip this, click on this, and I'm going to use a darker color. So this will be the shadows, right? So my brush selected, I'm just going to apply this here to create the shadow that I need, right? So you can see how this um, regular ellipse have been transformed into a 3D shape, right? So I'm going to select all of this and group them. I'm just going to name this ellipse, right? And I'll convert it to smart objects. So I'm just going to move this Ctrl T and um, I'm going to rotate this so that um, it's the area that is lit up with light that is facing the bottle itself. That's the whole concept of this design, right? So I'm just going to place this here. You can see that the areas that are lit up with light is the one facing the light. No, this is the shadow part. Turn it this way. Right, and I'm just going to place this here like this. Add some blur to it, Gaussian blur. Not too much. I copy my settings for this. Make a duplicate copy of this. And um, bring this one down here. Tilt it to this position and click enter like this. Right. So I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this again. But this time I'm placing this one here. Rotate it so that the area that is lit up with light is facing the light. Right. So you have this like this. I'm going to increase the blur value of this. Selecting this one also, I'm going to increase the blur value just like this and click OK. So the focus is still on the product. I don't want the attention on um, the 3D ellipse that we created. Right? So now that that's out of the way, um, let's go ahead and add some finishing touches to this. Right, so I'm going to select this, select this, and uh, press Ctrl G, and I'm just going to rename this um, ellipse. Okay, great. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's add some adjustment to it. So I'm just going to start with the color balance. We need to balance all these colors up. So I'm just adding the color balance to the ellipse. So I have created a clipping mask on it. So you can copy my settings for this. So for the highlights, I'm just going to make it red. So it matches what I have been trying to create since. Right? And that's one of the best thing about Photoshop. And um, okay. So there you go. There you have it. Right? Later on, um, we'll be doing um, the master like um, balancing and uh, balancing the whole um, poster just all at once. But for now, this has to stay so we get a good feeling of where we are going to next. So I'm just going to make this bottle slightly bigger like this and just this way. Okay, so directly above this, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to change my foreground color to something dark because I'm trying to apply shadows right now. Right, so um, something dark. Something dark. Okay, you can use this color code. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. So I'll click on the gradient to click here, open the basics, and I'm going to select this one. Right, so that's what I'm using. So I'm just going to drag from this point here, drag from this point here to create a shadow effect like this, drag, add some shadows to these parts, 
and um, when I'm done I'm just going over to my source file and bringing this in this is like um, that effects like D I R O T like so um, this is to add some inner depth to the background so I'm going to change the blend mode to screen and I'm going to reduce the opacity like this just like this just like this okay so um, I'm going to leave it this way so it has this grungy effect right so let's see let's see okay this is in place right this is in place so i'm going over i'm going to bring in my information that i've typed before I've typed all of this before so i'm just going to bring it in so in case you don't know the um these things are actually in the description of the video just click the link that takes you to where to download all these things from right so i'm just going to drag this and drop this here just here like this right directly on top of the bottom one so you should know the area and placement you are bringing these things in right great so you have this in place okay now that i've gotten to this point um let's add some lighting effects to these guys right so i'm just going to select the color here select this color click ok and um, i'm going to create a clipping mask like this right click on my brush i'm going to make it smaller change the color this is the color i'm going to use for the lighting this time right so um, i'm just going to gently gently i'm working on the bottom one alone change my blend mode to screen um, to add some light effects and um, i'm just going to mask out all those areas i don't need let me do that again ctrl z just like that i'm not doing too much right just yeah i'm going to use lunar dodge add instead reduce opacity like this it's not too much right just something small like this you don't need to go overboard with this so um at this point i'm going to make a snapshot ctrl alt shift e to make a snapshot of everything you have here and uh of course make it a smart object and i'm going to go over to camera raw filter like this this is where i'm going to make the final adjustment right so you can just copy my settings here and of course if you are interested in the templates of this particular poster design there's a link that will be dropped on the group as to where you can get the templates from right so for those of you asking me for the templates you can get the templates and um it's made available in fact all my designs you have a template it's made available for purchase only please right so I'm just going to um, increase the saturation like this to make it pop more and when I'm done I'm just going to click OK right okay so that's um, how I arrived at this poster right inside Photoshop so if you've liked my video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend this video to more people right if you've not subscribed now is the right time to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of the videos I'm going to drop in after this time around I'll see you in the next video just up here Bye.